My name is Thomas Glanton and I'm the proud principal of Southwest DeKalb High School. And today we're here to share with you some wonderful things that we're doing to prepare for your pending return to our building as we continue to be safe, as we continue to move forward and address all of your concerns as we come back to the building and get back to the business of education. Today was our second visit uh, from Superintendent Mrs. Cheryl Watson-Harris today to Chapel Hill Middle School. And basically what we did was take her through a day in the life and a school readiness uh, walkthrough of our school. In our hallways, we've marked them. So right side goes this way, left side goes this way. And we've added some arrows throughout the hallway to try to encourage students maintaining one-way traffic. And so all students and staff members go down the right side of the hall and come back up on the left side of the hall. In addition, make sure that you always wear your mask. Always wash your hands. Upon entering classrooms as well as upon entering hallways at Chapel Hill Middle School, we have stations that are set up and those stations are set up with hand sanitizer, uh, wipes, and then spray for students to be able to use and for staff members to be able to use to be able to ensure cleanliness and safety at all times. So we've suspended temporary use of our water fountains to ensure that, number one, students remain six feet apart, but also to ensure that there is no passing of any type of germs or viruses in the actual touching of the water fountain itself. So again, we've suspended the use of water fountains, but you can't always bring a nice bottle of water to the school. If a student comes in, let's say they've forgotten their mask or they dropped their mask or anything happened, our goal is to make sure the students stay in school. We want them here. So at that table, before they go to the hallways or before they go to breakfast, they will be given a mask. This is a kindergarten classroom that has been set up for our staff and students, maintaining social distancing in the classroom, as well as the teacher has arranged each group on the A or B day to have their items placed in a specific area. So we are very proud of our custodial team and all the other folks in our building who've prepared the classrooms for the pending return of our students. We've uh, established social distancing signs on the desk to ensure that all students remain six feet apart. Additionally, we've prepared a special package for our teachers who are returning to the building. That includes, of course, some face masks, also includes some gloves, also includes a face shield. Uh, at our school, we have what we use as QR codes. And so the QR codes are, have been posted at every door as you enter uh, each classroom, each restroom, uh, the media center, uh, as well as uh, in the teacher's lounge. And so if a student goes into the restroom, they use their phone, take a picture of the QR code, and that basically denotes that they went into that particular restroom. So when students and staff come in the building, we want to make sure they're well fed. And so we have our breakfast grab and go station right here. You'll grab your breakfast and go directly to your first period class. Now keep in mind we said that we're going to dismiss our students for lunch in a staggered manner. So we don't anticipate the line backing up because the process is grab and go for breakfast as well as for lunch. The students who can use the QR code to go to the restroom to scan to be able to denote that they were in this restroom. So if we have a positive case, a kid use their phone, scan, say hey I went to this restroom, we're able to capture it and if we have a positive case not only do we trace the student back to the classroom but we also can take the student to this restroom as well. We will have monitored restroom breaks. Again our teachers and our um, staff security will assist us with that as well. We have floor markers outside of the girls and the boys restroom to make sure that students are socially distanced as they await their turn to go to the restrooms and only three students will be allowed in the restrooms at a time. To ensure safety in using the restrooms students have monitored monitored scheduled restroom breaks where the staff is here with them as they are going in and out of the restrooms and once the students have completed their restroom breaks our custodial staff schedule they will based on their schedule will come in and clean and ensure that the restrooms are sanitized for the next group or grade level that are entering into the restrooms. 